What I'm about to show you or share with you today is uh, relatively dated information. This article that I'm going to read to you from uh, WND.com uh, took place in January, but I wanted to uh, bring it to your attention as a refresher um, or just bring it as new news to those of you who haven't heard of it yet. Um, Traveler implants microchip for airport check-in. Says no need to care about carrying a boarding pass. So I'll show you where I'm getting this from. WND front page. This was January the 21st of this year. So let me show that to you. Like I said, you may have already seen this, but I just wanted to, like I said, at least once a week or once every couple of weeks, keep you updated on the RFID front, uh, the cashless society that we're going to, and even RFID for convenience purposes like this. Apparently this man from, uh, he's a Dutch traveler named Andreas. Um, uh, went in and out of um, airport security uh, simply using an RFID microchip implanted in his hand. It says apparently the chip worked um, and Andreas, who is a vice president of digital for technology consulting at a company called Sogeti, was able to pass through the security point without fanfare. A few weeks ago I had an NFC chip implanted into my hand just beneath the skin, he said in his YouTube video of his travels through Stockholm, Orlando Airport. Embedded on the chip was uh, Andreas's Scandinavian Airlines Eurobonus member identification number, which gives airline officials all the pertinent personal information they need to process him through security. I used the chip to pass through security at the lounge and finally through the gate to the aircraft, the Daily Mail reported, and now other travelers can do the same. The Daily Mail reported that near field communication chip or NFC is available to implant in, at homes around the world via kits from a development company called Dangerous Things. So what I wanted to do in bringing this to your attention is microchip technology will not only be used for buying and selling according to Revelation 13 with the mark in the right hand of the forehead connecting you to the financial grid, but also for traveling. Um, it, could there be a day coming soon where you will not be able to board a plane or get through airport security unless you're implanted with some kind of RFID technology? Will there come a day when, in order to visit a hospital, uh, you'll have to have all of your medical records from a doctor um, implanted in RFID technology in your body somewhere so you can be scanned and everything come up? Uh, I think I had an email from a brother who said that his hospital was beginning to do such things and he no longer frequents that hospital. So how close are we to all these things happening? Well, right now people are simply uh, trying these things out and making it look good to the public. But RFID technology is not simply just for buying and selling, it's to participate in other areas of society as well. Uh, could it be that when you go to the grocery store one day, um, my husband had this thought that, you know, the, the automatic doors that open for you and close, uh, that, you know, the radar detects you coming through the door and the door opens automatically. What if one day the doors don't read or the technology reader doesn't read that you have an RFID chip and you're not even allowed in the store and the doors won't open for you? It's just food for thought. But I wanted to play you a little bit of this man's video that he produced on YouTube. Like I said, this is a rather dated um, news here. But for those of you who didn't know, it says traveler implants chip for airport check-in. No need to uh, worry about carrying a boarding pass. So this RFID technology could be used for traveling one day. And if you don't have it, you can't get through airport security. Uh, it may be used in hospitals, which I believe it is in some parts of Europe right now. Um, people are opting to get an RFID microchip. Um, voluntarily for doctors uh, to make it easy to scan them and then their information comes up on a computer. So let me play you a little bit of this video. Um, this is just um, a refresher to keep you updated on RFID technology and how it has a lot more, there's a lot more involved than just buying and selling according to Revelation 13. This may be uh, part of what is caused to happen in society even if you want to travel or go to a hospital to see a doctor. So this is just an um, informative video just to keep you updated on where we're headed in these last days with this technology. Let me uh, skip past the, um, the ad first. It's rather a lengthy ad. But these are things that we need to keep in mind um, as we are fast heading toward these uh, end of the end of days here before the Lord comes back. Is that we are headed for this um, RFID technology infiltrating all of society. Here we are. Hope you can hear this. Hi, Andreas here. 
I am always on the lookout for new innovation together with our customers. A few weeks ago, I had an NFC chip implanted, injected into my hand just beneath the skin. While I'm certainly not the first person to have an NFC implant, in this video, I am probably the first person to pass through an airport, through security, through lounge registration, uh, through the gate to the aircraft to board a flight um, with only the NFC chip. So I had no boarding pass uh, physical with me uh, during this trip. I am also sharing a conversation I had with Massimo Pascotto, who works with innovation at Scandinavian Airlines about this experiment. At the end of the video, um, I am also sharing some footage from the actual procedure of the implant. And for that part of the video, I would say that some viewer discretion is actually advised. So enjoy. is Massimo Pascotto working here um, at SAS uh, within innovation uh, in digital and I'm here today with uh, Andreas Sjöström uh, and I'm head of digital at Social T. Awesome, so where are we now? Why are we here on Sunday, Sunday morning? morning. Yeah, exactly. Sunday morning, uh, up early and uh, I'm off to Paris. Uh, we are meeting at the nice SAS lounge here at Terminal 5 and today we are making a pretty interesting experience on how to pass through the airport as quickly as possible. Fantastic. And, uh, and you know, uh, speaking of which, I, uh, I remember, you know, we started uh, introducing um, uh, boarding pass through the usage of kiosk years ago, which mm. was uh, innovative. You don't need to go to a desk and, and, and get a boarding pass. And then we started uh, discussing about unprinted boarding pass. So you, you have a printer home and you can print uh, the boarding pass. Mm. A few years ago, we were actually uh, the pioneers in using NFC technology, near fields uh, communication. You mean the, 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 sticker. the sticker that exactly. you put on the back on, on, of your phone exactly. and you can use that as this a boarding pass? pass. Yeah. And it was pretty, uh, pretty uh, awesome experience because you, you, you know, you didn't have to, uh, you know, to, to do pretty much anything. You just mm. beam the phone on top of the reader and you yeah. were just going through the security. But today we went on an extra step, an extra mile, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, a few weeks ago, I, I had an NFC implant, so I actually injected or I had injected a, um, an implant, a small chip in my hand, and uh, we um, put my Eurobonus number uh, into the chip, and uh, today when I passed through security and the lounge registration, I, I just waved my hand over the reader and, and I could pass through, so no more boarding pass, no more picking up the phone, just passing You through. don't need to care about batteries, right? Or no, whatever. exactly. So how deep is the, the, the implant? I mean, it's just, uh, just beneath the skin, so you can actually feel it if you if you touch it. Yeah. Okay. What's your expectation? Do you, do you, are we expecting passengers to come to us now and to say, can you please try the Eurobox no. number? Into... I don't think so. Uh, I, Selected I think, one, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, I think that um, it's interesting uh, to experiment and see where things are going. Obviously, there are some interesting trends in the market with sensors and app phones, with you know counting steps you take and your pulse, etc. And I think this is a, a step uh, of experimentation. Um, in the future, we may have uh, uh, things that you can put on top of the skin yeah, instead, yeah. instead of going into. But uh, just to you know find out what are the scenarios and and how does your work is really key. I think. I think here is the point: is the, like you. Don't don't need anything to mm. be identified, to be recognized, to go through a touch point, whether it's a security or a lounge or a gate, right. right? So that's, I think, that's a breakthrough, really, that you didn't need to care to care about to carry a boarding pass or to carry a device mm. or to have batteries or whatever. Mm. Exactly. And then from an implant perspective, uh, I mean, uh, we are really used to, I think, already accepting yeah. uh, the idea of an implant with a pacemaker, yeah. uh, of yeah. course, and then uh, with the sensors now, uh, digital electronic sensors becoming uh, smaller and smaller, and it becomes uh, more, you know, common that you uh, track uh, your fitness, your health, uh, how you move around with sensors in the app phone or whatever. I think um, uh, in the in the future, I think it's going to be more common to to actually put um, electronics and uh, digital. As part of your body, as right? part, part of your body, and um, in innovation, you are in okay. innovation in South Sudan. I'll stop it there. So it's a lengthy video. I'll stop there. 
but I wanted to give you an idea of what this article is all about, Traveler Implants Chip for Airport Check-In, and you can look it up yourself on WND. Uh, as he said, right now it's experimental. People are opting to have this done, but it's experimental. Um, I believe this is just a preview of what it will be like one day if you want to travel, um, if you need to go to the hospital. Um, he, remember, Revelation 13 says he causes all both small and great, rich and poor. And notice that this man had that microchip implanted in his right hand. Notice that, and he just went right up and tapped his hand. It's all coming to that, guys. Uh, so I just wanted to give you an RFID update, show you what's happening in the world out there. Um, so if you have news and you're wherever you're from, overseas in Europe, um, if you're in the Middle East, if you're here in the States, if you're in Canada, South America, send me pictures, send me reports, and I will, I will put it on this channel and give you the credit for it because our brothers and sisters need to be aware um, so that we're updated on what's going on and how close we are to all of this coming to pass from Revelation chapter 13. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day today.